In Minneapolis, another pivotal day at Derek Chauvin's murder trial. The fired officer's lawyer tried to pin some of the blame for George Floyd's death on Floyd himself. CBS's Jamie Ucas is covering the trial. Tonight, prosecutors tried to deflate the defense's argument that George Floyd's drug use caused his death. The defense played video of Floyd resisting police for James Ryerson, the lead investigator in the case. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Did it appear that Mr. Floyd said, I ate too many drugs? Yes, it did. But prosecutors replayed the video from an earlier point, saying it's open to interpretation. Having heard it in context, you're able to tell uh, what Mr. Floyd is saying there? Yes, I believe Mr. Floyd was saying, I ain't doing no drugs. The drugs in Floyd's system and what he possessed go to the heart of the defense's argument that opioid drugs and underlying health conditions led to his death, not Derek Chauvin's knee. Floyd's autopsy revealed multiple drugs in his system, including fentanyl. CBS News legal expert and analyst Ricky Kleeman. Is it smart for the prosecution to get ahead of this and try to deflate the defense's argument? If the prosecution looks like it's hiding something, the jury will hold that against the prosecutor. Another struggle for prosecutors today, trying to explain why a pill with Floyd's DNA sat unexamined in the back of the police cruiser for about six months. Mackenzie Anderson was the lead crime scene investigator. I obtained a single source male DNA profile that matches George Floyd. Another hit for the prosecution will likely come when the defense presents the jury with a 2019 arrest of George Floyd. It's similar to the one that led to his death a year later. It began with a traffic stop, and while in custody, Floyd told officers that he had swallowed several tablets of Percocet. He was then taken to the hospital that time. Nora? All right, Jamie Yukas, thank you.